Hey, beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great. I just want to say I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. Last week, I tried to do three different videos other than a budget builds video because, you know, I felt that if I keep doing budget builds videos every single day, it will get really boring for you guys. And I don't want that. So I tried to do a tutorial on Warframe. And basically, one of them was an Eidlon hunting guide, which, is, which I'm definitely going to do because it's a major part of this game. The other one was how to complete the plane's bounties quickly and efficiently. That I completely scrapped because I didn't see you guys benefiting from that at all. And the third one was how to parkour like a pro. Now I'm still debating on whether or not I should do that. You guys just let me know if you want me to do that video. I've just launched a official Facebook page for my YouTube. I'll be doing exclusive giveaways and be the first to know of my new videos that come out. So stay in tuned, go like that page, I'll leave a link down in the description and I'll leave another link pinned in the comments section. Now that we got that out of the way, welcome to Budget Build where we use zero former and achieve maximum efficiency. In today's video, we're taking a closer look at Gara and her abilities, another room clearing tank. Now this was a requested video by a subscriber, I'll leave his name on the, on the screen, his name is Kendula. So let's begin. Ladies and gentlemen, before I give you guys Gara's build, Let's take a closer look at her abilities along with her passive because you know what they say. Knowledge is power. So starting off with her passive, a chance to create a radical blind effect that lasts 10 seconds when exposed to the bright light. This ability works very similar to Excalibur's radial blind, except Gara just needs to go and walk into the light. Moving on to her first ability, Lash Out, I'm sorry, Shattered Lash. Lash out with a stream of shattered glass or hold for an arcing strike. So, on your keyboard, when you tap one, what Gara will essentially do is she will throw glass at the enemy's face. Holding down the same key will then cause her to pull out her whip and chop the enemies into pieces. Her whip works very similar to Korra's one. Moving on to her second ability, Splinter Storm. Gara's armor splinters into a maelstrom of shattered glass. Allies who contact the cloud are fortified against damage. This is her bread and butter. Without this ability, Gara will be killed in normal missions. Adding the right power strength mods to her will then give you a 90% damage reduction. Don't forget that. Once you've cast this ability, if allies come into contact with you, they will receive the benefits of Splinter Storm. Moving on, we've got ourselves Spectre Rage. Trap enemies in a corsal of mirrors forcing them to attack visions of their true selves. Destroyed mirrors damage their attackers, as does the collapse of the Corso. So in other words, you'll cast this ability, enemies will see they have mirrors. The enemies will then look into the mirrors, they won't like what they see, they'll start shooting it. Once they start shooting it, they'll die. Plain and simple. And finally, we've got ourselves Mass Vetrify. Create an expanding ring of molten glass that slowly crystallizes enemies who enter. When the expansion is complete, the ring hardens to block weapons fire. The ring draws extra strength from the health and shields of crystallized enemies. Use Shattered Lash to smash the, green, sorry, the ring and send razor sharp glass flying outward. So, this ability works very similar to Frost's Globe. It blocks bullet fire and you can shatter from the outside. Except, Gara actually benefits from shattering her own fortress unlike Frost. Now that we know exactly how Gara functions, let's take a closer look at the build itself, what everyone's all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the build itself. Now of course it's a zero former build, we don't use former on this channel unless you guys want me to use former, but let's take a look at the build. So, as our aura, we've got ourselves Rejuvenation, and what this does is that it regenerates, we regenerate health throughout the mission. You guys can use any other, any other aura you want, so long as it's got a deep polarity in it. But I chose Rejuvenation because why not, having constant health regeneration is awesome. Next up, we've got ourselves Prime Continuity and Augur Message for more duration. The more duration we have, the longer our Splitter Storm will last. We've got ourselves streamlined, that way we use less energy, that way we don't have to have the stress of having an energy lack, or as I like to say before, at least we don't get to get caught with our pants down. So we use less energy per ability. 
Next up we've got ourselves Stretch and Auger Reach for more range. The more range we have, the longer our number one can reach. Also, our number four gets a bigger radius, so it's pretty good for defending objectives. Next up we've got ourselves a Flow for a bigger energy pool, Auger Secret and Intensify for more power strength. The more power strength we have, the more damage reduction we'll get. Of course, the damage reduction only caps at 90%, so you need these two mods to hit 90%. Now, as you guys can see the top left there, I have 13 capacity. This gives you guys a lot of room. So if you guys want, you guys can replace Flow with Prime Flow for an even bigger energy pool. That's still cool. If you guys just want to use another normal Flow, that's also cool. So what you guys can do is you can take use of this extra slot. So what I recommend you guys, you guys have got three mods you can choose from. Cunning Drift. This one gives you even more range. That way your number one can reach even further. Which I think is probably the best mod out of the three. Another choice you guys have is Power Drift for more power strength. I think adding more power strength is useless because you won't get more damage reduction. But if you guys want, that's still an option right there. And finally, the third option is anything to do with speed. So in, in other words, utility. Add utility, which you guys want, such as sprint boost, parkour velocity, anything, holster speed, whatever suits your guys' playstyle. That's what the extra slot that you can do for you guys. Now arcanes wise. I go with arcane energize because I don't like being caught with my pants down. I like to always have energy and use it at all. Next, I've got myself Guardian. Now you guys can use anything else, but I personally like to use Guardian. Another choice you guys can use is Arcane Grace. Because of the 90% damage reduction, the enemies will be able to damage your health. So, you guys can use Arcane Grace for more health regeneration. This synergizes really well with Rejuvenation. So yeah, that's the build. Now let's go and test this build out. Let me show you guys something special about Gara. Now as I previously stated, knowledge is power. Now in order to truly utilize Gara, she's got some hidden abilities. So let's go grab some energy. Alright. So the first thing you guys want to do is activate your number 2. This being her splinter storm. And as you guys can see, the top right 90% damage reduction. Next thing you guys want to do is tap her number 4. It will then cause this barricade. Then exit this barricade, look at it and push your number 1. You guys can either tap it or hold it. Now if you guys notice from the bottom right, my damage is at 4389, the bottom right there. Now this damage can infinitely scale. You can just keep scaling it, scaling it, scaling it and it'll just keep going. Let me demonstrate. So now that I've got my number 2 up, that being the splinter storm, I now just have to push my number 4, like so. Exit the area, you don't have to exit, you can just stay in it, but I like to exit it. And there you go, now I've got even more damage. If you guys want to receive more damage, you have to exit the barrier and then do it. If you guys want to kill the enemies, you don't have to exit the barrier. And finally, if you guys want to keep your number 2 up as long as possible, activating her number 4 will then replenish your number 2's duration, like so. Look at that. So your splinter storm will be replenished in terms of duration. And of course, because we've created a barrier, Let's get rid of it. And boom, look at that. Not only do we get more damage towards our Splinter Storm, because we just have to run up to enemies and the Splinter Storm will automatically damage them. Damaging them will also make it stronger. So I'm going to do some editing magic and I'm going to show you guys how powerful, how strong the Splinter Shield can be. But don't forget, it doesn't do very well against corrupted heavy guns because of the armor. So let's begin. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, at the bottom right, I have 72 and a half thousand damage stacked up. Let's test this out. Alright, now that we've tested out how well we can kill Corrupted Butchers of level 145, it's time to test out 
10 Gara tank level 145 heavy gunners but don't expect to kill them with this ability because of the fact that anything that has heavy armor will tank every single shot armor places a big advantage on enemies so they make it a lot more harder to kill but it does decent damage and it will keep you alive so let me show you guys i've got here a whole bunch of corrupted heavy gunners waiting to be waiting to shoot us like it was a test dummy or a shooting gallery so let's begin As you guys can see, that damage reduction is extremely good. It took the enemies a while to kill me. And the passive helps you out, which is pretty good. So stand in the light, you'll gain that benefit. And in order to you, if you die, that's because you probably let the enemies die. I mean, look at that. Who, in what mission do you guys stand still in a sortie for enemies to do that to you? I mean, come on. Thank you to everybody who supports my content, waits for me to post a video, comments on it, and likes the videos. A lot of time really does go into these videos. I do my best to explain everything to the best of my ability to make it simple as possible. Anyways, that concludes Gara's build video. If you guys liked the video and it's helped, leave a like. Spot and click the subscribe button for more Warframe videos. I'ma make like a banana and split.